MATLAB and Octave have built-in plotting capabilities. The plot function will allow you to create simple 2D graphs. The x and y values are arguments to the plot function. So in this example here, we say x goes from 1 to 10 in step sizes of 1. y will be x squared. So if we want to plot y versus x, we can say plot the x values and then the y values. The x values always come first, then the y values. The plot function will create a graph. You can add features to this graph by issuing commands after the plot function. So we have our plot function, and then we're going to add to that x and y labels to the x and y axes using the commands x label and y label. We can also add a title using title command, and we can turn on grid lines by saying grid on. You can change the data line by placing formatting instructions within the plot function after the x and y values. And you put these within single quotes. So in this case, we say dash x r. The dash is the line style. It's going to create a solid line if there's just a single dash. Marker type, uh, if I put x for the marker type, that will create an x at every data point. If I say r for the line color, that will make the line red. And there are many different line styles, marker types, and line colors. If you omit the line style, that is, if we omitted the dash, only data points will be plotted. There will be no lines connecting the data points. You can change the range of the x and y axes using the axis function. And text can be added to the figure using the text function. So we say plot x, y. And for axis, what we pass down to axis is an array containing the minimum x value, the maximum x value, the minimum y value, and the maximum y value. For text, we give the x and y coordinates and the text that we want to display at those coordinates. Finally, the plotting window can be cleared with the CLF command. In this example, We've created values of x that go from negative 5 to 5 in step sizes of 1, and we say that y is x squared. We will plot x and y, so y versus x, using the formatting of a solid line with x at all the data points and make it a red line. And this is what we generate. We can add labels a title, and turn on grid lines. You can see on this graph we have a title, the grid lines are all turned on, and we have labels for the y and x-axis. We can add a label using the uh, text a command and also change the range of the axes using the axis function. So here we say at x equals 1, y equals 10, we're going to put the phrase text goes here on the screen. We're going to change the x range to go from negative 4 to 2 and the y range to go from negative 5 to 20. And here's our text that goes on the screen. And you can see our range on the axes has changed. Negative 4 to 2, negative 5 to 20. If you now try to issue the plot command again, that will overwrite whatever is currently on the plot. So if we say y2 is equal to x minus 2, and then plot y2 versus x, we see that it overwrote the previous plot. We can clear the plotting window using the CLF command. There are other options for creating and making changes to your plots. I've only shown 
a few in this tutorial.